A day after Donald Trump stunned the nation, winning the election to become America's 45th president, former rival Hillary Clinton urged supporters to give the president-elect a chance. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Our constitutional democracy enshrines the peaceful transfer of power. And we don't just respect that, we cherish it. Clinton's call for unity came just before a similar message from President Obama Wednesday. We are now all rooting for his success in uniting and leading the country. And from the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, who's had his own battles with Trump. He turned politics on its head. And now Donald Trump will lead a unified Republican government. And we will work hand in hand on a positive agenda to tackle this country's big challenges. But that could be easier said than done. Trump will govern alongside a Republican-controlled Congress, but he faces serious fractures within his Congress? own party. I mean, there is going to be tension between a Trump president and a Republican Congress, like on issues like immigration reform and on trade policy. The mainstream Republican Party has a view that is at odds with that of Donald Trump. And despite all the post-election pleas for harmony, Trump will lead a nation deeply wounded by a bitter and rancorous campaign. I cried this morning. It's um, very emotional because I understand, you know, we've got a Republican, which I don't mind, but I do mind Trump. I, I, I can't stand the man. All the people who didn't vote for Trump are going to be very concerned about their own future. Women were very upset with his derogatory comments. Uh, immigrants bore the brunt a lot, a lot of his uh, anger. I think all those people have lots of questions about what a Trump administration is going to look like. Now, he has promised to be the president of all Americans, but that's not the way he campaigned. Adding to the frustration of those not yet willing to rally behind a Trump presidency, Hillary Clinton is on pace to win the popular vote, an ironic twist in an election Trump repeatedly claimed was rigged. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.